Hello everyone, welcome back to the part 4 of Hematology. The topic of today's video is Erythropoiesis. Consider subscribing to my channel for more of medical lectures and health tips. Let's begin. Erythropoiesis Definition Erythropoiesis is the process which involves the origin, development and maturation of erythrocytes. Site of erythropoiesis. The site of erythropoiesis is different in fetal life, in infants and in adults. In fetal life, the erythropoiesis occurs in three stages. Mesoblastic stage. In mesoblastic, those are produced in mesenchyme of yolk sac. In hepatic stage, it is produced in liver, spleen and lymphoid tissues. And in myeloid stage, it is produced in red bone marrow and liver. In infants, up to the age of 6 years, it is produced from red bone marrow of all bones and from age 6 to 20 from red bone marrow of long bones. After 20, it is from membranous bones like vertebra, sternum ribs and skull bones. After 20, the shaft of the long bones becomes yellow bone marrow. During bone disorders, the RBCs are produced in spleen. Process of erythropoiesis Stem cells The stem cells are the primitive cell in the bone marrow which give rise to all the blood cells. It is defined as cell which is capable of both self-renewal and differentiation. Pluripotent hemopoietic stem cells are derived from the stem cells. These are defined as cells that can give rise to cells of all groups of hemopoietic cells like myeloid cells and lymphoid cells. In early stages, the pluripotent hemopoietic cells are not committed to form any single type, hence called the uncommitted, which later becomes the committed. The committed PHSC cells are of two types, lymphoid stem cells which give rise to lymphocytes and natural killer cells, colony forming blastocytes which give rise to myeloid cells. Myeloid cells are the blood cells other than lymphocytes, when grown in cultures, these cell form colonies, hence the name colony forming blastocytes. The different units of colony forming cells are colony forming unit E, colony forming unit granulocytes, colony forming unit megakaryocytes, which are responsible for the formation of erythrocytes, basophils, neutrophils, eosinophils, monocytes, and Platelets. Stages of erythropoiesis. The various stages are proerythroblast, early normoblast, intermediate normoblast, late normoblast, reticular site, and matured erythrocyte. Proerythroblast, also called as megaloblast, it is very large in size with a diameter of 20 micron. It nucleus is large and occupies the cell almost completely. The nucleus has two or more nuclei and reticular network. It does not contain hemoglobin and cytoplasm is basophilic in nature. Early normoblast, it is little smaller with a diameter of 15 micron. In nucleus, the nucleoli disappears. Condensation of chromatin network occurs. The cytoplasm is basophilic in nature, hence called the basophilic erythroblast. Intermediate normoblast. The cell is smaller than the early normoblast with a diameter of 10 to 12 micron. The nucleus is still present but chromatin network shows further condensation. The hemoglobin starts appearing. The cytoplasm is already basophilic because of presence of hemoglobin. Hence, it is also called as polychromophilic erythroblast. Late normoblast where 8 to 10 micron in diameter, there is ink spot nucleus and the nucleus disappears by the process called as kinosis. Hemoglobin increases also called as orthochromic erythroblast. Reticular site, it is also known as immature RBC. Cytoplasm contains reticular network. It is basophilic due to remnants of Golgi apparatus and mitochondria etc. Matured RBC which is 7.2 in diameter. I will be uploading my notes on my Instagram page. I'll link it in the description. Thank you for watching the video. If you find this video helpful, let me know in the comment section.